YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and today we're talking about the best garden vegetable you can grow, the pumpkin. Uh, why is it the best? It's totally not. I just called the video that to get you to watch it. <laughs> it worked. Yeah, um, sorry about that. Not big on superlatives in general, but it is a very valuable garden vegetable, and I'll tell you why I think that. Uh, one is it's super nutritious. There's lots of vitamins in here. Uh, two is you can grow it uh, all the way to the point where it's bearing seeds and you can both eat it and get the seeds out of it. So I think that's really cool. A lot of vegetables, you have to let them go past to the point where they're really edible to get the, the seeds out of them. These, you don't have to choose one or the other. You can grow it to the point where you can eat it and you can grow, use the seeds at that point for growing more. And the seeds are also really nutritious and you can eat the seeds as, as well. So it's, it's just a great vegetable. The other thing that's good about it for SHTF and post-collapse kind of stuff is that it lasts really well without having uh, you know refrigeration and all that kind Kind of stuff. Uh, they're really hardy um, and um, uh, they're going to last deep into your winter uh, without having to even worry about canning it or any, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, they can even uh, tolerate a little bit of frost without like freezing and turning into mush. It's just a great vegetable. And it came to my attention over uh, recently, over Thanksgiving, uh, one of my family members uh, made a pumpkin pie and I asked if they made it from scratch and they said that they'd never done that because it was just so difficult like peeling the pumpkin and everything and um, you're not supposed to peel the pumpkin the way they were doing it. Um, and that's why I want to make this video, is it's also a really easy vegetable to use. So uh, let's cut right to the chase, and I'm going to be making some pumpkin pie using another one of my pumpkins. Uh, and I thought I'd share with you how incredibly easy it is to use a super nutritious vegetable. It's a fruit. It's a fruit! All you're going to do, and I've got my helper, are you going to help me? Okay, I'm going to cut this up first. All you have to do is chop the pumpkin up, oh wait, wait, watch my fingers, into some pieces. Can you try cutting that one? Uh, so all you have to do is just chop them up into pieces, get the seeds out, uh, because, uh, can you hold it? No. You want to get the seeds out so that you can cook them, and then you just pop them into pot. Steam them. Yep. Well, we're going to put the pumpkin seeds in this bowl. Oops, I dropped a pumpkin seed. And we should put the mush. Oh, no, I don't want you to hold it. Oh, well, how about I make it so it's easier for you to cut, okay? Yeah. Okay, we'll do it like this. So now you can cut it more easily. So you separate out the seeds. All right. They're a little slippery, but as you get a, uh, a feel for it, you get a sense of how you can kind of squeeze them out through your fingers and you can get almost all seed in the uh, the seed bowl. Um, the, the next step for the seeds after you... Uh, I cut my nail bed. Oh, good job. The next step for the seeds after you get them separated out is to just soak them and wash off a lot of the mush that's on them. Uh, I just have them soak in water for a little bit, stew it around and and then get all the, uh, the mush off of them and then you know, usually cook them just, you know, as you would pumpkin seeds. Three, four hundred degrees, something like that. Salt, pepper, cayenne, whatever you feel like you want to put on them. Alright, so this one is just about ready. And I'm going to use a spoon to sort of scrape out this. Uh, I think you could do a little more work on that one. I'm going to use a spoon to scoop out this inside material. And this right here is just about what you want to have. It has the pumpkin meat. And this, well, the skin, we're going to leave the skin right on there, and we're going to put that in the pot. And what, what we do is that we cook it first, and then once it's cooked, it'll be very easy to take a spoon and scrape the meat away from the skin. And then you can use the meat for whatever you want to do. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, you can make a pie out of it. I can't do this. I know, well, you did a very good job. Pumpkin is good, for, pumpkin is good for a lot of different things, including soup that kind of sweeten things up. I can do. I don't know why I don't have you in the videos more often. You're so helpful. Add so much food, pumpkin goo. Throw it in there. And what you're going to want to do is just put a little bit of water in the beginning of this um, to get it going. Uh, I've got a wood stove fire going downstairs. That's what necessitated the timing. You get a lot of seeds to eat. So See, that's why they don't, don't, don't make a sound of them. 
Uh, well, they're wet and they're not rattling around much. So there's about a half an inch of water in here. Once it starts boiling, uh, a lot of the water is going to come out of the pumpkins and then that'll go down. And you're going to want to make sure that you save awesome. all the water. Hold on, i got to finish. You want to save all the water at the bottom because there's a lot of vitamins and nutrients in that water. So uh, you can use that water for a soup, like a soup base. Um, or kind of the only idea I've got, yeah. soup base. Yes? Uh, I'm talking to there. Okay. He has a uh, word for you. Uh, also, you put no chocolate chips in it. We do put chocolate chips in the pumpkin pies. Thanks for watching.